Breakfast, breakfast monitor. Actually, Sleepy, yes, I said your name. Sleepy does like popcorn, so I gave him a piece, but of course he's being fickle. He wouldn't want me to think, he wouldn't want me to think that um, he was really anxious about it, but as soon as I start eating, he'll eat that piece. Can't beat this, guys. Homemade chicken patty on a homemade bun with cheese and mayo. That's my lunch. It's almost 1.30. Oh, man, this is good. This is better than McDonald's. Hey, guys. Pete rearranged the deck today, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm back in my spot by the birds. Birds behind me. Um, he's back in his old spot. Can I, I don't know if I aimed at you or not. Yeah, I was. There you go. Okay. this way. I can't see because of the glass. a little that way. Oh, right there. Okay, because I can't see the, <laughs> there's a glare on the back of this. Pharaoh's in his spot. <laughs> I don't know what he's barking at. But as you can see, Pete moved, Pete moved the grill over there, so now both of us have an unobstructed view. Charlie. We have our tables. There's my table. Yeah. Pete's still got a bucket on his. He wants it totally 100% dry for, for his proposed use. Pharaoh, enough. Stop. Stop. I don't know what he sees. A squirrel, most likely. Because they're everywhere. It was a fairly quiet day at work, but we ha I had bursts of activity. But not, you know, it wasn't like busy all day. So I was able to stay caught up with vlogs. That's always a good thing. I was able to play a couple computer games even, which I never get a chance to do that. I was able to watch an episode of one of the shows I'm watching on Acorn TV, which is a good thing. Um... I don't know if I've mentioned Acorn TV before. Acorn TV has British TV. We get it on a Roku, but you can get it on your tab, you know, your tablet, your iPhone, whatever, I guess. But it's not that expensive. What do you remember how much Acorn is? Four ninety nine or five ninety nine? Yeah, I don't remember. But it's fabulous for people who like really good shows. I mean, I'm not necessarily a Anglophile or anything, but there are really good shows on there and they have really good mysteries and stuff and so Pete and I are watching two series right now Doc Martin and Murdoch Mysteries but I started watching one that's only got six episodes because I don't I don't watch it just by myself very often so I didn't pick a long one just a short one and I can't remember what it's called but it's like a medical drama slash soap opera type thing, I guess. Amy had talked about, about um, asking about car accidents, and rather than type it, I thought I would just include it in today's vlog. The, uh, I was only in one serious car accident, and that was when Casey was like five or six months old. Five months, I guess. I was driving home, and a woman not from this country... Um, made a left turn at a light and f directly into the front of my car so it was more like a head-on um spun her car around because she was driving a little car and i had a big um cutlass s casey's dad had a big cutlass s that he really liked <laughs> unfortunately got totaled that day um but anyway then it spun around and hit the driver's side i lost a whole bunch of teeth a lot of the teeth in my mouth are pegs that they put up in there and some of them I've lost some and but anyway I lost a lot of teeth because my jaw hit the top of the steering wheel with enough force to bend the steering wheel and it shattered a bunch of teeth. 
Um, but I also hit the windshield, and of course, when you get sliced in the head, you bleed all over, and you look terrible. I uh, had a LaFranc sprain in my right foot because my foot hit the brake pedal at the same time as impact so my foot wrapped around the brake pedal like this and it, all those little bones in there it separated all those little joints just separated um let's see on the left side um my left calf or not calf what's the front shin hit the dashboard and broke it and cut into my the front of my leg which i have a nice scar from that and but the worst thing was feral quit the worst thing was that um, my shoulders jammed because I braced myself against the steering wheel. So both shoulders jammed and I, for oh, probably close to two weeks, I could not um, raise my arms at all. And with a five month old baby, <laughs> that's, that's bad. I mean, they were just hanging and I was in a wheelchair because I couldn't use either leg. So, and I couldn't move myself, so I needed care. Um, our insurance company at the time, it was Citizens Insurance, they were so fabulous. Of course, in Michigan, we have no-fault insurance, which means you pay for the service, you get the service. So it's like my insurance I pay for and I reap the benefits of. I don't have to worry if the other driver was insured or not or anything like that. It's just my, you know, my insurance, and I, I loved Citizens. They were so fantastic. And they paid for somebody, while my husband was at work, for somebody to come and take care of the baby and help me during the day. Um, and they didn't care who I chose, so my, uh, my godmother helped, my mother-in-law helped. Um, I can't remember who all, but they all came while uh, Gary was at work during the day and helped me and helped, uh, you know, and took care of Casey. Um, that was a terrible... That was the worst accident, and um, they court. had to cut me out of the car. And obviously the other lady was at fault. Um, she contested the ticket because she had so many prior accidents and moving violations that she would have lost her license. So I had to go to court, and she walked into court in curlers. She walked in front of a judge with curlers in her hair. I won't tell you what country she's was from lest I be labeled a bigot, but I thought it was just so rude for her to be in our country and not even have enough respect. There you can see the neighbor's got his RV back where he always kept it. You can see it around the other side of that house. Guess where we are? The custard cup, cappuccino custard. They even have dog ones, so we brought we brought Curly so he could get himself a custard. The custard cup. You've heard me talk about it. And now I'm bringing you here. Hi there. Hi. Uh, what's the guy's name there? It's Curly. Curly, huh? How you doing here, Curly? What is that, a mint pen? No, he's a little Russian terrier. Oh, no kid. Here you go, Curly. Want oh. that? He says, I'm nervous. All See right. me shaking. He'll give it to you. Well, yeah, we'll <laughs> give it to him. So. You guys have anything. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I work here now. Miss Terry, you do? I do. How's Miss Casey? Miss Casey is fine. The baby's so cute. Yeah, isn't she? She's great. You want to give her a message? She watches my vlogs. I love you, Casey, and I miss you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they have little dog dishes. He's even got a bone in it. We haven't even had dinner yet. We decided to eat dessert first tonight. We're at the boat launch, which is right there, on the west end of the lake. We like, in past summers, we've enjoyed coming here just to sit. Look at the lake, there's a lot of shade. The sun goes down behind us, so it's not in our eyes. And it's just nice to sit and look at the water. Just sitting here and relaxing because it's Friday night and we felt like we had to do something besides sit on the porch, which we can do during the week.
I go down further on those rocks, except for I'm wearing slippery, you know, my Crocs aren't real great for going on. Lots of people on that boat. And music. Crash! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> kind of look that way through my lens here, or my screen. Whoa, Curly, you're so close! Just get my hand out. Carly! My vlog will be like an hour long if I put all this in. Here comes a wow, that is a big, big boat. That is a big pontoon. Holy moly. Just one guy. Look at the size of that thing. With just one guy on it. Whoa. Careful with that motor. It's pretty shallow here. When we've been sitting here in the past, we've watched lots of boats get stuck here. It's real shallow. That is one big boat. Now that looks like fun, except that the water is so cold. They're warning people in northern Michigan that our water is still so cold that it can be damaging to your health. A little skidoo or whatever that thing's called they're going out on. They really took off out of here too. He just took Curly down to see the ducks in the water. There. Now if I get the camera in the shade, you can see them better. Curly just likes walking around and sniffing. He's a sniffer. That is a pretty good size one. Come across it. That is pretty good size. Still not nearly as big as that black one was. That was something. That was something. We've been here for about an hour now. Taking a lot of footage. Certainly I won't record I won't put it all in, but it'll give me a lot of editing to do tonight. Hi guys, we're home from the beach, or not the beach, we're home from the lake. We stopped and got uh, chicken at Kentucky Fried Colonel afterwards because I knew once we got home, it was already 8.30 and I knew once we got home I wouldn't want to cook. It's about 9.35 right now, so I just thought I'd say goodnight. Um, I have a lot of editing to do tonight. It's a good thing I can sleep in tomorrow, my one day a week to sleep in. So I will be doing that. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a sensational Saturday. I hope your weekend got off to a great start like ours did. And um, I hope the rest of the weekend is great for you guys as well. So I'll see you tomorrow. God bless and good night.